Hello everyone, welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. So happy y'all are here with me today. Yes I am. So very blessed to have you here with me today. Now I know this is going to be an easy video. I know y'all see three paw prints. Didn't we just do those yesterday, Sheila? Why yes we did, but I still want to do, I'm going to do a little Zeus dog print. And this is from two different sets from BB Craft. If you don't know about BB Craft, check them out. Um, I'm a part of their affiliate program, which they send me like $40 worth of merchandise. So I can show y'all what they offer. And even if you're not a resin person, they have a lot of other stuff to do. Maybe you do jewelry, yarn, sewing, painting. I don't know. It's a craft website. They have everything. Okay, check them out. Everything's in the description box below. So we're going to make three keychains today using the products from another mold that came with the alphabet. And it came with keychains. It was the thing that kept on going. Keychain, everything to make keychains with. It came with these um, alphabet beads, which I picked out the, the name Zeus. We have some bee, I mean beads. We have some shells. We have some like crushed glass. We have some fruits. I don't think I'm using these today. But I'm going to use these. I made up 60 milliliters. Don't think I'm even going to remotely need that much. But that's what I made up. And for my little Zeusy paw print. I took out some. And I'm going to use my Stardust glitter for this and this is a powdery I mean this is ultra fine glitter that's why I called it stardust it has some blues I mean okay let me hold it up it has a little bit of color of everything and it is very very pretty in resin oh and these little wooden sticks Timu Almost knocked over the resin, you guys. And see, that's how it comes to life in the resin. I hope, hopefully, I'm y'all can see that. See how it just splurges around. Okay, so I'm basically gonna put a good little bit in here because I'm not putting anything else. I need a stick. I don't need a big one because I'm not putting anything else in this one. And I am going to run this through the vacuum chamber because this is the one that I'm going to put the the word Zeusy in. I think I'm going to actually put a tad bit more in here because I, I want it doesn't sink either, but I want enough glitter because there's nothing else going in here but this glitter. And I think I am going to put it through the vacuum chamber because I do not want to see any bubbles whatsoever make sure the glitter is all mixed up in there and it is nice and shiny I know I'm putting the whole jar in I'm not really it looks like I am but it's really not a lot the camera be lying to y'all about sizes it's hard to gauge from camera but I think I got like 10 milliliters in here. We're, yep, 10 milliliters in this little cup. Now, I'm getting ready to put this through the vacuum chamber. Wow. I'm going to put the top on this before I... I I'm, I'm prone to accidents, everyone. Very prone to accidents. Y'all know this. I'm going to throw this one in the vacuum chamber. I know it gets loud, but it shouldn't take long. And then the other two, I'm going to do something totally different as well. Alright, come on, deep bubbleizer. Get those little boogles out. Okay, so with these two here, um, what do I want to do? I probably will go on and just split it in half. Um... I don't think I want to do glitter in them. Oh, what do I want to do? Oh, that's 
a good question. I kind of want to do some shell, but some seashell, but maybe not. bubbly free there. Um, let's see. What do I want to put in this? I do have some of these shells. I might put some of these in one of them. I do like that. I start to use that. Hmm. Well, I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna do one shell. But um let me go on and pull this one out of here. It doesn't take long to get bubbles out of little 10 millimeters. It's only 10 millimeters here. And I'm pretty sure we're not gonna need the whole shebang. Alright, let me move this out of the way. Alrighty, I need a piece of tape. Even though there's glitter going in, I, that don't mean I want the other glitter staying in here either. Okay, so I'm going to give him a little spritz of alcohol. And I'm going to pour this beautiful crystallizing. Okay, that was like 10 milliliters. Let's see if it's enough. Oh, yep. Oh, I wonder if these are going to sink. I ain't thought about that. Let me see. Yeah, and tweezers come with that set, too. <laughs> ah, goodness. Let's see here. I hope they don't... S okay, no, it's not that deep. Okay, yay. Yay. Hopefully they don't move on me. And see, we're making a Zeusy paw print. Hopefully they don't move. Oh, let me get, wipe that off. And these have little, oops, that's the wrong way to S goes. It has a little hole in the bottom, but this resin is going to, go in there and it is going to fill that up little Zeusy oh that's going to be so stinking cute yes it is hopefully they do not like start floating <laughs> let's hope not I think we can get a tad bit more in him I don't want to push it though so they might just start floating. Oh, is he floating? No. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on them just to make sure they don't float. I think I got them centered pretty good there. I think. It looks good to me. I could be wrong. But it look, I'm gonna leave. That's the way. That's the way I want this one, just like this. Perfect. And I'll probably end up um, UV resin a little bitty. I think I have a small paw print. If I don't, I put a little heart or something there. All right, now for these, what do I want to do? I want to do one with some shell, but all these are kind of big. 
So, you know what? I think I'm going to just use the rest of this. It is not that much in here at all. And I mean very little. Yeah. So, oh, I forgot to spray it with alcohol. I know that. I don't want to take any chance. Oh, I don't want to get it on that one. Just so it don't. Don't want it to. Go overflow in there. Okay, so there's just a little bit of this one left. So we just want to use him in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I put a little bit of this in here. And I'm going to try to just place some of these shells in here the best I can. It doesn't have to be jam-packed. I just want to place some in here going to get a little more resin in here just a little bit I might have to take some out I don't know and it's gonna fill up the more I put things in here okay I kind of want to keep that paw print separate there and even if it sticks up over everything that will be fine as well yeah, there we go. Let's try to get a color in every one. What color are we missing? Like a purple? Um, I don't know if I can get one. Oops, maybe I can. I think that was purple I just put in there. I hope it was purple. I don't think it was purple. Can I pop that? Nope. <laughs> sure you can. Oh, there go a little purple one maybe. Oh, wait a minute. What's this one? Maybe I can get this little purple one in here. There we go. Let me see if I can find another little purple. Let me take you out, buddy. I'll put you down here. Oh, you may, you know what? You may, you, you are too big. I'm going to just store you over here because you are too big. All right, so I'm going to get you right there. That way we got a little purple, blue. We got a pink that looks like a shark tooth there. We got a, uh, I think a yellow. It looks yellow. Try to get just some different colors in here. Make it look real pretty. And they don't have to be covered with resin. I don't think they do right now anyway. But I'm pretty sure they're going to go up under all this resin. See, yeah. They're going to go up under here. Let's see. Can I get you in here? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. A little jigsaw puzzle. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to keep the paw prints separated. Actually... I'll probably end up flipping this one because the imprints on the other side. I ain't thought about that. Oh, well, I ain't worried about because these are double sided. Oh, I'm good. Depending on which way I want to go with this one right here. Yeah, these are double sided. So, yes. <laughs> these are double sided and that is awesome because I, I was like, uh oh, done messed that one up. But nope, it is double-sided, so this will look the same thing on the other side. Awesome how things work out when you're not even thinking about it, isn't it? I need a real small one. I'm Maybe right in here. Little puzzle pieces. Little itty bitty 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 puzzle pieces. What is this? That's one weird looking piece. I don't think he's going to go in there. Yeah, I mean, I actually don't want too much in here. I just want it to look like a, a little little broken puzzle. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should flip him. Eh. Like where the big part goes. Oh, maybe I'll flip him over the other way because that one looks better, I think. Yeah, where the big part, no, maybe I was right the first time. I don't know. Yeah, the big part going, yeah, okay. I'll get it together in a minute. It's kind of too big for that part, but I like that one. 
and I don't want to take it out. I don't want to take him out. I'm going to leave that one there, even though I wish I had a smaller one. Um, okay, let me see here. So, yeah, I've made up too much, and that's okay. I'm going to go on and fill him up to the rim with resin. And he's got a little sparkly in there. I wasn't going to put any sparkly in this, but since we had some left over, I mean, I didn't want to waste it. Actually, still got some left over. And this stuff goes a long way. I put a lot in here because that's the only thing that was in there. If you are... Treat this like you do crushed crystal. You don't need a lot. But I want it a lot in here. Let me, I'll just say that. Alright, now the next one. I have no clue what we're doing. But I still think that one is going to be awesome. With those shells. I... Did he move on me? Kind of want you to, yeah, turn you around there. There we go. I don't know if that's peach or what, but it looks peach. <laughs> it does. It looks peachy. Looks like a peachy color. Okay, so now I've got to have the pleasure of putting these back in there. All the joy. It's uh, the only bad part about dumping stuff out. Then you gotta put them back in. But let me see if I can cheat and just put this up here and scoop them in. And you gotta be careful with these shells. Because I see a little string in there. And that came out the bag like that. So just kind of, I guess, check them. Don't just dump them. Because this God only knows what's in there. Oh, excuse me. I got that. Hiccups. God only knows what's in there with the shell because I'm pretty sure the manufacturers don't check. Okay, now for this one. What should we do for this one? Maybe we should do a dirty pour. Because I have three things of resin here. Oh, what do we want to do for a dirty pour? Alright, let's pick something. Uh, we kind of got... Um, let's do a... Oh, my word. I don't know. Somebody tell me what we should do. Anybody? No? Man, I hate picking out stuff to do dirty pours. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I really, really do. Okay, well, we need a uh, we need a light. Let's stick to like. Mm, let's do some. Oh man. Okay. Let's do some. No, I'm not going to do that one. Let's do teal, medium turquoise, and a really dark. Um, with some white yeah let's do these three and let's see what we get alright I'm gonna okay white and yeah I'm not gonna put that much in these there's not much to in here so and I guess whatever's extra we'll put Mr. Snail over there So yeah, we'll just do him in a, a dirty pour and see how it comes out. All right, I oh, need two more sticks, see weeksies. There we go. Oh, let me put the top on this because I'm not. Uh, wait a minute, let me see if it's a. Yeah, that's enough. Because there's not a lot left in this cup. Now this one's got some sparkle in it. So, maybe we should do the, no, we're going to do the green with the rest of the sparkle. Oh, God, I can't get it open. Okay. There's not a lot of green in there, or resin in there, I apologize. 
And now we're going to do this dark plum or plum. Oh, I haven't even opened this one. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be a dark baby here. I already know she's going to be dark and lovely. Love black plum. Look at there. Oh, my word. Why haven't I used this one? Somebody tell me. I might have to find something else to make with this. That's the pretty, pretty plum. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty plum. Okay, what's not mixed up? This one's not mixed up. Alrighty. So, we're just going to do a little dirty pour here. Get one of these little fancy cups. <laughs> We're going to do a fancy pour cup here. Alrighty. Take my stick out. We're going to do white. We're going to do some green. We're going to do some white. A little bit. And then we're going to do some plum. Sorry, my fat hand is in the way. Then we're going to do a little more white. A little speck of white. I'm just splashing it through. Oh, maybe a little bit more green than that. A little more white. Got a lot of purple. I think more purple than anything here. Alright, oops. Got purple in my cup. Alright, white. So basically, every time I add a color... I'm adding some white. That's just me. I think that's about it for the green. Because the green wasn't doesn't have that much in it. Alright. It's, it's more purple than anything. And I, I know I don't have to have all of this. Okay. That's enough of that. But I will scrape whatever I can. And put it in that snail mold that we demolded yesterday. Alrighty. I'm going to go on and scrape the rest of this green. This should be our last layer of everything. Alrighty. And we're going to end with the white. If I can get it out, there's not a lot left in here. All right, I'm going to just simply zoop, zoop, make a cross. Oh, I need some alcohol. We'll go on and spray those real quick. Hopefully these don't blend too bad. I think I'm going to lose my purple. I think it's all going to blend and muddy together, but we'll see. <sighs> yeah, I think it's going to blend and muddy together. I'm going to go on and get this purple down in this head, though. Alrighty. I'm going to go on and get this squished down in here. I did the dark purple. Make sure his little oop, antenna get them dark purple in there. The plum, I keep calling it dark purple, the plum, but it is a really, see them bubbles coming up? Squeeze the dickens out, them little boogers, and then slowly release. And I do mean slowly, and not, that way no air gets sucked in there. Alright, so I'm going to just pour the rest of this in here now. And it is what it is. Hopefully, you know what, I'm going to set him up a little bit because I do not want that coming out of his head. I do know that. And it's kind of warm tonight. So my resin kind of heated up quickly there. Yes, it did. Oop, making a mess on Mr. Snail. I hate these cups. 
I got so many of these things. I never use them. Where's my trash can? Hating things. <gasps> Oops. But I, I, what is it with me and this snail? Me and this snail got a love-hate relationship going on with the turning over. Where's my baby wipe? That's the second time I done poured him over. Poured him over yesterday. Boy, I tell you. Whew, well, at least I caught it. Gracious. Help me, goodness. Gracious in life. Yeah, so right now I'm just pouring. Now he's really gone muddy. Because he done dumped over. Oh, well. He's a snail. We're not going to waste this resin. We're going to put it in something. I don't know how my my doggy paw gonna turn out, but I guess we'll see. I think he may have gotten a little muddy. To never know until you thing the other side. It might actually look really pretty. I remember one other time I poured one and I thought it was gonna be a muddy muddy mud puddle and it wasn't alrighty uh there's a little purple in here I guess I can get him out too it's a little bit alright and then we can make these into keychains um I'm supposed to be spraying the cup. Spraying everything but the cup. Try to clean up. This is the only cup I had to clean up. Look how easy that is. Nice easy clean up today. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, it looks like my beads aren't rolling around everywhere. So that's a good thing. Put these over here. Clean them off. Oops. That's a long one there. I don't even remember that one. I don't remember using this one. I may not have. Okay, let me. I'm going to clean off my seashell and let it dry. Cause, so. Put him over there to dry. Alrighty. Whew. Oh, my mat just moved. All right, so where the top go? All right, that's the plum. I'm really hoping that one turns out good. If not, we can embellish it on the other side. So, yeah. And then those are the three colors. Yep, 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 yep. I will put them over here. Don't leave anything on your heat mats. Um, I'm not going to turn the heat mats on, but I'm just saying. Okay, how's our name of Zeus looking? It's not moving. So we should be good. It's not moving. The little alphabet. Okay, did I clean everything? No, I did not. Did not clean the paddle. A little something I was forgetting. Alrighty. Paddle clean, tweezers clean them. Just, just open those. <laughs> Already about to make them a mess. All right, so I will see y'all on demold, and when we demold them, we will use these little little keychains. We might have to. I don't not. Sh I don't think I'm gonna do anything to this one, but leave it like it is. We'll see. Like I said, I might find a little little charms to put on his toes or something. We'll see. This one, we might take some UV resin and go around the edges. And this one maybe as well. I we will know more when we see more. Because 
right now I have no clue to what these are gonna look like but I think they're all three are gonna look so pretty so we didn't use any of these and I really yeah I mean I didn't want to overdo it on this I just wanted the name on this one that's all I really wanted and like I said I'm gonna go through my charms and probably get some little heart charms maybe put some hearts on his little toes or something or right up under his little name. It's a little too big for a dog uh, tag. But oh man. My thing got stuck in there. Dang it. Leave it to me. Got stuck in there. Well, at least none of them's overflowing. little light mist and I'm done I am out of here until they are ready the gloves have come off and once the gloves come off I'm done for a moment until it's demoed time all right you guys see you soon hello everyone we are back we are ready to unmold our little paw prints and get them turned into little keychains so let's see how this one turned out oh well, I guess oh that's backwards I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> and uh, yes yeah, so it's backwards guess we'll stick with the front part I wasn't thinking about that I should have should have flipped the name over and started backwards you gotta work backwards darn it well Dang it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Okay, let's say that one for last. <laughs> the glitter looks good, though. The glitter looks real good. This one looks really pretty just by itself. It really does. All right, let's see how our um, dirty pour turned out. Yeah, you can't really see too much. Oh, look, Zeus, your puppy hair. <laughs> your puppy hair is on there. Oh, I think it's embedded in the resin, Lord. Okay, and it's not bad, but it's not what, you know. But it still looks good. It still looks good. Alrighty. So we got those two. Oh boy. Mr. Zeus. Let's see here. I mean that was a lot of, of glitter I put in there. And it's sparkly. Alright. Let's see what to do. What to do I honestly don't know if I want to do anything with this one mm. um what did I do with those I put them somewhere where did I oh here they are I guess I could always just find another Zeus not you, Zeus. Say what? Um, I did get a little paw print. Put right there. I'm gonna pull this down. Let me see if I can find another Zeus in here. Ooh, got one rolling. I found an E. All right, I need a Z. No Z yet. Oh, I found it. Well, I found a blue E. I'll take a blue E, even though that one's pink. Well, oh, I found a Z. Okay, I found a Z. Anybody see a U? See a V? A Y? 
Found another Z. Huh. It's like find a puzzle for a U. Please tell me I don't have to empty this whole bag. Okay, thank you, Lord. Even though... Didn't I find another... Oh, that's a, a blue. It's going to be two blues by each other. But I might not have a choice. There go a purple S... I could change that E out for that one. Where's another S in like a... Do they have one in a green? A green. Oh Lord, I'm gonna... And at least I found the U. No green S. Might have to go with the purple S. Oh, no, I see one. I see one. All right, so we have our Zeus. Okay, so I need my UV resin. And I'm going to get him on this little paw print here. I need the dotting tool, dotting tool. I try to get the big ball in for this. May need a little bit more. Well, no, I don't need any more resin. I don't think I do anyway. I'm going to try to get these. Right up under these. So that way they will hide them. Do I have a paper towel around here? No, I do not. Oh, get, oh I got two cloths out instead of one. Got two out instead of one. Try to keep that cleaned off. Okay, I need... Alright, we need the Z first. Mr. E here. Well, at least it'll be two sided. Didn't think about flipping those around now, did I? No, I did not. Okay, that's not straight. There we go. A little bit better there. Okay, and we're okay. The little puppy paw print here. Where's the little cutters? Take this little thing off here. Just pinch it, and then clean it up a little bit. Always make sure some UV resin is over this little thing you cut off all right do I want to put him there or like put him up you know what I think I might put him up there uh, let me move this and move this Lord I wish I didn't have to take all them beads out I think I might put a heart these little bitty hearts I got from Timu little silver hearts Ooh, 
Well, he doesn't want to come off the tweezers. There we go. Put the, oops, three of those there, because I might use them. Oh, about to knock over this huge bottle. Okay, um, I am going to hit this with my UV light a little bit just to get it cured to where it doesn't move. Then I don't have to worry about it moving on me. And then I can go to the next one. Might not need much for these baby paw prints. Little paw pads. Little baby paw pads. Let me steal some from you. This heart, this one's got that little heart in it, so it's kind of hard to get around it and get some resin. I don't want to overfill it. Sweep it to the side here. You can use a little bit more on him. I don't think I'm going to put anything on him. I mean, he does have the heart already on him. I may need to put some more UV on that one since I borrowed some. Been borrowing. And I do need to get my lighter because I forgot to pop any bubbles that may have been in there. Even though I really honestly don't see any with this new J. Diction um, UV resin. But they could be there, but I sure don't see any. I, I think I need a little dot on here. And this is the one I'm using. It's the hard type. I think he needs a little dot because he's pulling away from the side right in here. There we go. Okay, wipe this off. Where'd my little puppy charm go? I think I'm going to put this little puppy charm right here. Inside this little paw print right here. Make sure some of that UV resin get over that. Over the um part that I cut. Oh, there's a piece of glitter in there. How'd you sneak in there? Oh, I think the... Oh, Lord, the beads are sticking to my arm. I need to get them put away. Oh, Ugh. I didn't plan on pulling them back out, but as you can see, plans don't always go. Okay, so I think I am gonna put a little heart. Oh, he want a jump ship. Put a little heart in here, and I'm gonna put a little heart on this side. It's not gonna be that easy to see. Because they are silver and this, um, the glitter is like a, it's like a rainbowy color. The stardust, little stars coming down, stardust. All right, I'm going to get that halfway cured here just so it doesn't move on us. Do a green. I'm going to take this Nightwish UV resin and I'm going to try to get around the paw print. I said I'm going to try. Ooh. I'm going to try. I 
I may need to uh, I might need to use the smaller size for this one that one went around real good on that side hopefully it's not leaking over hopefully actually I think I'm gonna just put some in a little cup here not a lot just so I can go around these pawpaws because I do not want to mess up getting it around the pawpaws and it'll just give it a little bit of color to the edges it I don't have it in black on this one because black would have been good no Zeus you don't think so he was a or he's just tired of hearing me talking one or the other see is she talking about dog bones I don't want to hear it oh I forgot to take the lighter to it again I just seen a bubble that's why I thought about it in this one I just seen a bubble. Just seen the bubble. Yeah, getting around this edge is kind of difficult here. I think I need a little bit more squeezed in here. If you don't have enough, it will like shrink away from the sides. If you don't have enough, I'm not going to put y'all on a fast forward. I know it's, I mean, three keychains. It's taking this lady an hour. Well, I'm sorry. This is real time. This is actually how long you see it takes. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's not a five-second project. It, well, I guess it is if you just unmold and throw the stuff on there. But, you know, if you want to throw something extra on here, it takes a little more time. But I am loving these paw prints from BB Craft. It, I, I love them. They are too adorable. Perfect size. They are too cute. Oh, come on now. Get around the edge. It's not that big of an edge on some of it. I think the green looks cute. I'm determined not to squeeze no more UV resin in here. Pretty sure I should have enough to finish this little section off and then I will hit it with this lighter. Oh, come on now. Uh, put a little drop in here because I can't get it to stay on the stick. Okay. I was going to put a little dot inside the hearts, but I think I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. Where's the light? Oh, I forgot the... Boy, y'all forgot to tell me the light. Pop these bubbles.
Oh, is it on? Yeah. All right, so we got one finish. I think that is so cute. All right, let me see. This one should go to this one because it's smaller. All right, now that one's done. This one, I actually just want to leave it as is because I think it is pretty. I really do. Please don't go over. Did I wipe this off? I can't remember, but I'll do it now. Yeah, I like I like the little seashells and the paw pads. Those are too cute. Oh, those are cute. Just sweep the sides. I'm glad I had that little bit of extra glitter to put in here. It mixed the rest of the clear with it. It shined it up nicely. Oh, I may have too much on this one. Hopefully it doesn't run over. Sweepy sides. See, I just made that bubble and it popped on its own. I am really liking this UV resin. I don't think I'm going back to another kind. I really like this UV resin. Really, really do. Alrighty. Um, light. So I can hit it a little bit so it doesn't move on me. Just to give it a top coat here. Keeps it from moving on you. Now this one. Oh, we sh I think I'm going to use some of these BB Craft Cactus um, charms on this one actually. I think that would look cute. No, that would be too much. Oh, dang it, I touched it. Dang it. It wasn't all the way cured. Dang it, it's going over the side. Darn it. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. Okay. Let me hit that side real quick. Is my light even on? Okay, there we go. Maybe I didn't even have it on. little fingerprint in here need to get rid of okay so yeah I think we're just gonna put one of these little cacti in this one like this one. I think I gotta put these beads up gracious. And just snip them off. And he went flying across the room again. Okay. Uh, we get this on here. Get one in the middle. Try not to put too much on this one this time. Yeah, because this one right here doesn't take a lot. I 
He's walking away. Get back on the tree. may need a little bit more in this pawpaw print. Well, this paw pad. This one definitely has plenty. This one should as well. I can see the sparkle coming through once I put the UV on here really well because there was so I think we mixed a little bit of that sparkle in here because I can see it yeah we did I can see it oh, I think I need some more resin on that one on this one is pulling away a little bit there and that one oh bubble city big old bubble pop out of there and make sure you get it right before you turn on the UV Alright, any separations? A little bit right here. Alrighty, let, okay, there's some right there on the side. Oh, there's none up here. What in the world? Let's see, it's still coming off or coming back. There we go. That should be good now. Ooh. All right. Any bubbles that may have gotten in there? All righty. Oh gosh, the beads. We'll put our little cactus charm in here. This is going to be a cat for cactus. This is a little kitty cat paw. That's the puppy paw. And this is the whatever you want it to be paw. Okay, I think that looks straight. Oh, the top. Hit this bad boy with the UV light. Alrighty, so now we are going to just put him that back over there into our Let's Resin Curing Light. On his little toy toy and turn it on while I pick up all these beads yes the beads are everywhere Lord everywhere and spreading Ooh. and spreading There's a heart that's just left out. There's a lot of beads in here. Like I said, that kit with the um, the lettering mold was the kit that kept on giving, apparently. 
it just kept going and going. All right, is that enough? There's one. Yay, got them all back in there. Woohoo! And these I got from BB Craft also. So, let me put my little heart back in the box. And then we can um, put our little keychains on here. Um, yeah, let's see here. Um, hmm, that's like an army green. I think I, I don't know. It's, Put that one on the Zeus paw print. Um, no. Put that one on the shell paw print because it's got that purple in it. On the Zeus paw print, we should do red. On the cactus one, we're going to do this green. I know that. Hmm, even though I should do the green on the Zeus. Yeah, because we did green. There is an army green. No, let's do this green on that. And for the cacti. Hmm. Mm hmm. There is three different greens. It is like a, a brown green. It's probably supposed to be brown, but it looks like a green tint. I'm going to use this one for the cactus. Yeah. Well, I guess we could use the pink for the... Um... Yeah, I like the purple. Use the purple for the shell one. Yeah. And tassels can always be changed out later. Alright, so we're just going to let this cure up really, really well. I need three of these out. Three of those. This did not come from BB Craft. I got this on Amazon. Alrighty, I'm trying to wait for this five minutes to be up. Oh, let me get these out. I'm going to get everything out. We're going to do them all in gold today. Since the tassels are all gold, they should have done half and half tassels, but it's, it's okay. Here my UV that's in this cup here. And then it should just pop right out and use it again. Or not. You know what? I think the UV stuck to this cup and blended to it. Yeah, I think it did. Well, alrighty then, the UV stuck to the cup. Well, oh well, they're possible anyway. Where's my trash can? Zeus, bring me the trash can. I can't do that. See, if I could, I would. Alright, let's see here. How are we looking? How are we looking? Alrighty. Very, very pretty. I actually think they need to go back in for a second here. I really, really do. I think they need a, another minute or two. I'll put it on two minutes. And hopefully that'll be good. Oops, get in there. I don't need the dotting tool no more. Don't need that one. That's a spoon. Where did I put the spoons at? Oh, in there. Okay. 
Alrighty, don't need the tweezers anymore, so I will pop them up there. Don't need the... Oh, Lord. Brushes are flying. Don't need the brush. I can put that back. Ouch. I gotta find something to put these in besides a bag. Would put them in one of these, but it would be too hard to try to scoop them out, so I need to find their own individual little cup thing to put them in. Other than that, you're going to be struggling to get them out. Alrighty. Don't need those anymore. Go on and just get these pinched open while that is curing. Just pinch them open. I don't think they're that wide, but. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I gotta, um. Dang it. I gotta. Let me go get these. I gotta hang the tacks alone. I hope these are big enough. I don't think these are big enough to hang that tassel from there. We'll try one. I really don't think they are. This came with the kit. I don't think they're big enough to hang a tassel on here. Oh well, yeah, they 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 should, they'll they'll fit. Alrighty. Take y'all out. Oops. About to knock over everything. Okay, so first, go on and get our. Oh, yeah. I might need to open it up a little bit more. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Got it. We got it. Alrighty. We got it. We got it. Yes, I know that's not proper English. Got it. But it's, it's mine. My English. I know how to talk proper when I need to. But other than that, this is me. Okay, wait a minute. I was going to do this green. Yeah, on the um, ooh, little bitty tiny things. Tiny, tiny little things here. Ooh, I think my pliers are in the way here. There we go. Alright, hold this up and see where we want to put it. Like, ooh, about the third one up. I might have to open it up a little bit more here. There we go. There we go. Pretty. Oh, that looks adorable. Look at the... Oh, let me hold it different. Look at the sparkle in it. That is too cute. Love these paw prints. Absolutely love them. Love these paw prints. Did I say I love the paw prints? I'm going to say it again. All right. sure that's nice and tight this one is too cute I like it just like that no charm or anything just nice okay we're gonna do the yeah the purple on this one all right let me get this little bitty oh I got one open here if I can pick up you know my fingers are chunky chunky fingers all right, let's see how this goes. Okay, there we go. And that can go with the um, purple that's in there. Make sure I have that closed good. No, he's not. 
I need my mini tweez tweezer things. I got some, but they're put away. The little minis for that. So pretty. So, so, oh god, I got glitter all over me. It's the glitter room now. Don't call it a craft room. Call it a glitter room. Absolutely priceless. I like these. Oh, and look at the Zeusinator. Don't come over here, fat fat. That turned out so cute. Got a little paw print. These would be awesome for memorial paw prints, too. If you had some of your puppy's ashes, put their name on it. You could hang it on a tree for ornament. That would be an awesome idea to make some puppy ornaments. That they would look cute on a tree. Do them in Christmas colors or whatever colors. You know, personally for Christmas, I do blues and silvers and stuff. I know traditional red, green, gold, but I do blue, silvers, some greens. I, I, yeah, I'm all over the place. But I usually do blues and silvers and, and like a white. Oh, there's already one out here. Like Hanukkah colors. Blend the two seasons together. Hanukkah. Oh yeah, I think that one matches really good with that. I'm going to put this one on the second one here. Oop. Oh, I'm about to lose it. Yeah, these would make awesome memorial paw prints or ornaments. It really, really would. That would be awesome. So, so when you pass, do you want to go into one of these? Hell no. Oh, sorry. I'm not dying no tattoos. Tell my lid to be dirty. That turned out so pretty. I like it. I like the little, they're really thin hearts. And you see that's raised up. But then you still got his name on the back. Should have kind of, that's floating glitter right there. <laughs> Guess I could have did a coat on the back as well. But that is so pretty. I love them. They turn out great. Our little cactus paw print. That can be the cat cactus. That's the kitty cat paw. Oh, this one's not closed all the way. Or he bounced back. One or the other. Yeah, that's the kitty cat paw. And this could be the kitty cat or the puppy dog paw. Well, actually, this one could be too. But since that's my baby Zeus. All right, let me put all these little monsters back in here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our three little puppy dog keychains. We used a few things from BB Craft. We used the the keychain um, set. We used the puppy dog mold set. And then we used the cactus charm sets. I love these little cacti. They are so pretty. And like I said, that little kit that came with everything kept on giving. Alright, you guys. I will be coming at you tomorrow with a new mold. Woohoo! Something we haven't done yet. So, I gotta make a plan for that. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Stay safe. And see you soon. Bye for now.